sorry that the uh, the rain came in, but come on into the tent so that you can stay out of uh, out of the rain into the dry. My name is Ben Mosley. I'm the president of the Home Builders Association of Greenville. Uh, my paying job uh, is with the Heirloom Companies. We're a designer of uh, custom staircases here in the uh, upstate uh, for high-end uh, custom homes throughout the southeast. Before I introduce the senators, let me tell you about the Home Builders Association of Greenville. We represent more than 600 members in the upstate who make housing affordable and available for our community. You're familiar with some of our signature marketing programs like the Southern Home and Garden Show and the Upstate Parade of Homes. We also offer dozens of education and networking programs every year so our members can continue to better themselves professionally. What may be less familiar is our uh, more important program, and that's advocacy. We lobby government to keep housing affordable, protect our industry, and protect your right to use our private property as guaranteed by our Constitution. A few years ago, we worked with Greenville County staff to ensure that townhomes received an appropriate level of review to ensure that walls between each unit were properly constructed to protect neighboring townhomes during a fire. And as it seems to happen all too often, an inch became a mile and county staff, staff began requiring an architect to seal those plans. They also began requiring more plans, including electrical, plumbing, and structural elements, and the review of those plans would take up to four months. The legislation of government will sign today makes clear that townhomes are single family homes which they are, and, a, and an architect does not need to be involved in designing them. We have two important senators who will speak to you today. Before I introduce one, let me tell you about the other. Senator Dwight Loftus represents South Carolina Senate District 6 here in Greenville County. Before winning a seat in the Senate, he was a member of the South Carolina House for more than 20 years. Senator Loftus is a longtime friend of the Home Builders and has been honored with the Hammer and Trowel Award. Thank you, Senator Loftus, for your friendship, and thank you for co-sponsoring this legislation. I'd also like to introduce to you another senator, John Scott. Senator Scott represents Richland County and was a co-sponsor of this bill, as well as partnered with Senator Loftus to help shepherd it through the legislative process. Senator Scott is becoming one of the state's champions in housing affordability, and we are happy to welcome, welcome him here into Greenville today. Senator Scott, thank you for being here today. Thank you so much uh, to the governor, Lieutenant Governor, Senator Loftus, uh, my colleague in the Senate, and, and to you, ladies and gentlemen, Home Builders Association. I've spent 45 years of my life in the real estate industry, so the industry is no new thing for me. Uh, and I was approached by Steve Adams, who asked me when I come over and began to do a lot more work with the Home Builders Association, I said yes. He said, one of the bills I want you to sponsor, and of course Senator Loftus would be also the co-sponsor of the bill, is the bill to straighten out this town hall mess. And what do you mean? We're treating town hall and town houses just like they are commercial properties. Architects are picking up fees they don't need to pick up, and those fees are being passed on to the homeowners. Of course, looking at South Carolina in terms of the shortage we have in housing, also in trying to streamline costs to build, to build uh, new houses for family, it just made more sense the townhouses be treated like single family dwellings. And so we spent a lot of time and we, t we talked with our colleagues, we were able to get that bill out on a record amount of time, we sent it across the hall. And of course from there, 41 votes in the Senate, 98 in the House, it became law. But what Steve did not tell me today is that in order to get your bill signed, you got to follow the governor all the way to Greenville. <laughs> in the rain. Well, I'm glad to be here with you all today. And I'm hoping that the changing this law will make a lot of families happy and save a lot of money as they buy, especially for first-time home buyers, as they buy their new homes. Thank you so kindly. Well, thank you. It's a privilege to be here with you. It's a privilege to work with the homeowners. I, I've, I've been, in, uh, been fortunate enough and privileged enough to, to be in the legislature quite a while, and I thank the voters for, for doing that. I certainly enjoy it. Being down there a couple of years and, and uh, found myself on a committee that, 
that uh, dealt with issues of uh, construction, home builders uh, issues and that sort of thing. And I got acquainted with the home builders and I've been actually working with them and for them ever since. And when I say I'm working for them, I'm really working for the consumer on the other end right there. And uh, this piece of legislation, uh, since I've been down there, I don't think there's been a legislative session that we haven't gone in and, and had to uh, readdress a bill because of in unintended consequences. And uh, that is the case here. Uh, there was a, in the original uh, legislation that was mentioned of a detached uh, or detached structure, meaning like an individual house or, or, or one or two family st structures. And it kind of put the townhouses in the group with uh, apartments and all the other uh, construction going on out there. And uh, as has been mentioned, it just in increased the cost for the consumer by several thousand dollars. And so the, any way that we can make things more affordable for the homeowners, that's what we need to be doing. Home ownership is a key to the, to the foundation of, it's part of the American dream. It, uh, it gives us more stable neighborhoods and that sort of thing. So we want to protect that uh, in every single way that we can. And so I'm glad to be a uh, co-sponsor of this. Um, it was just a misinterpretation and it happens quite often in the legislature after after a bill is passed and uh, that's what happened in this case so in in our own county and other municipalities uh this hopefully straightens out the the question of not of not whether or not townhouses or single family units out there so thank you and i thank you thank the governor for for being here with us and uh i'm going to let him speak right now but i want to say thanks to our our lieutenant governor her home county here uh, and uh so we're glad to have her also so, Governor, I think you, you have a few words for him. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Senator Loftus, and before that, Representative Loftus, and before that, something else, been in the business a long time, and he's always making improvements. I knew this was a big deal when they said that John Scott's coming all the way from Columbia to be up here. <laughs> but it is a big deal. We have to, the law's never settled. You always have to make things a little bit better. There's always something you forgot. The conditions change. So we constantly, constantly trying to improve but this is a big step forward for our state uh, we are we're in a position after going through the pandemic we were doing very well before uh, last year we we had more people working than we did the year before the year before that and uh, uh, it was was our highest number of people working in the state but a lot of that is directly related to home building mark Nix, as you well know so this is a good thing, and uh, I would encourage everyone here to never presume that we know everything because we never do. If you see something that we can do to make life a little bit better for the people of this state, which is the best place in the whole world to live, work, and raise a family, let us know what it is, and we'll do it. And if there are questions, we'll answer them. If not, we'll go ahead and sign. Questions?